Hi guys. Um, so I um I wanted to uh make this video and kind of give you guys an update on where I'm at, what I've been doing. Um, kind of similar to my last video, but um, I'd like to dig a little bit deeper, maybe. Um, I may get really emotional. I probably will. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, I'm just, I'm raw. I'm real. And I think that you should see, like, every side of me. Um, so... Um, <clears throat> it's hard for me to like <laughs> begin, I guess, because I just like I don't have like an agenda or anything like that. I don't have like points of where I should like really like, you know, start with my thoughts. <sighs> and everything like that so I'm sorry if I'm all over the place I know I apologize for that a lot and I shouldn't but um last week I um I had a uh I had a mental breakdown I um I got really, really deep into my head, and I couldn't get out. I, I was lost. I would look in the mirror and be like, I, <clears throat> I don't recognize myself. And one would think, okay, it's not a bad thing. Um, I'm transforming, I'm changing, I'm evolving, I'm becoming this person that, um, I have wanted to be in a really long time. A person, I almost like, you know, I fantasized about almost being like on the outside. Um, because before I even was ready to lose the weight, before I was ready to make this change, I would, you know, glance at magazines and go on YouTube and just watch like transformation videos and I'm like thinking to myself gosh I want to be like that but I was so content with not doing it like with being who I am with emotionally eating with binge eating with just being too big for my own good being unhealthy. It, it wasn't necessarily even the size. I mean, yeah. I was 12 pounds away from 400. And I can recall saying, you know, 15, 20 years ago, if I get to 300, shoot me. You know, like I could never be that big. And when you don't have a scale and you just don't care, I think, oh, there's no way. There's no way that I'm that big. But I was. Um, I've been struggling a lot with, okay, so where do I go from here? Because I'm, 
um, 50 pounds away from being at my ultimate goal. And the closer and closer that I get to that, the more scary it is because I didn't have a plan. I'm like, what do I do after that? Like, I've consumed myself so much in this way of eating that I forgot a really important thing. And that's me. I focused so much on every aspect of this ketogenic lifestyle that I forgot that when all is said and done and I'm in the maintenance phase, like, who am I? Who's this new person? What do I do? How do I maintain? How do I stop myself from going back to the old me? I mean, I will be completely honest. There's a lot of things that I used to crave and binge on that now I find just not appealing whatsoever. Um, I let it consume me so much that, like, I couldn't even tell you what my macros were last week. Last week was such a blur. I, I don't know what I ate. Like, I didn't care. Like, and... It, it wasn't that I was eating bad, crappy food. It was just, I just didn't care. It was getting worse and worse. And it was almost to the point where it was really hard for me to be at work. I completely forgot the mental health aspect. I was on this whirlwind of losing weight and looking good and feeling good. And you know what? And I owed it all to my my eating habits like and the exercise, you know? And I lost complete sight of myself. And it was scary. And I didn't know how to handle it. I would go to bed crying. I would wake up crying. Um, sorry, that's me clicking my nails. I get really fidgety. Because, like, the last couple of days have been pretty good. And now I'm thinking about it again, you know. And I'm terrified, like, seriously. Because... Because I am so different and there are people that don't like recognize me and it's like I'm, is this like an identity crisis? Um, I don't know. Um, so I had lunch with my mom. We went to Noodles and Company because they have Zoodles now. So I got some Zoodles. Um, I can't remember what the dish was, but it had zucchini noodles instead. So that was pretty good. But, you know, she said that 
I think now is the time where you need to go and see somebody and, and talk with them because you need to figure out why it is you ate the way that you did. Because I, I almost feel like if I don't, if I don't dig deep, if I don't realize why, how am I going to change that? How am I not going to just end up back at square one? No matter how good I feel, I'm a food addict. And... In these last 11 months, it has been a battle every single day with my mind to say, hey, you don't need that. How does that make you feel? Do you want to feel like crap? Um... The answer is always no. I don't want to feel like crap. I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to have to walk up my stairs and, and be out of breath before I hit the last step up. I just, I don't want any of that. I don't have the desire to. But does that go away ever? No, it doesn't. as great as I feel and as wonderful as I feel and um, I, I just don't know and I'm sorry if this is confusing but I want you guys to know where I'm at like um, so, um, I've been looking into people that I could talk with because there are clearly reasons why I would choose to go to food for comfort. And, uh, I need to get to the root of that so I don't have that problem. But I just, there's so many people that have, like, reached out to me, and I appreciate it greatly, and my boyfriend has been so supportive. He's been there for me when I need him, and, um... I have decided to do something a little different too um, because I just I've I put way too much pressure on myself I was like okay so the weight that I've lost so far well it's not enough I need to keep losing more I need to be at my final goal weight by my year anniversary of starting of changing everything which is less than a month away it's November 27th, and I had to take a step back, and I was like, there's, there's no way that I need to. Nobody told me that I had to be at my goal weight by, within a year, to lose, like, a hundred and, gosh, what will it be? It'll be a hundred and sixty three. Hundred and seventy three. A hundred and seventy three. Oh gosh. Well yeah, I've lost a hundred and twenty three pounds. I have fifty pounds to go. A hundred and seventy three pounds in a year? I mean it's ridiculous. I put so much pressure on myself. Like, why did I do that to myself? Like, 
I'll tell you because like I feel like if I don't like people will be disappointed in me but I gotta get out of that headspace I gotta get out of I gotta get that thought out of my head nobody's gonna be disappointed if I don't make it to that I I just need to be and I am proud of how far I've come and how much I've accomplished I mean to have lost 123 pounds in 11 months, that is freaking phenomenal. Like, and I know this. But then I keep reverting back to, could I have done better? Maybe I could. But could I have lost a lot less? That too. You know? Um... So, now it's time to pump the brakes. <laughs> um, I'm taking some time to work on the mental aspect of this. Because, honestly, I'm not going to continue being successful if my head isn't in the game. And it's, and it's not that I want to give up because I don't, because I enjoy the way that I eat on this plan. Like, I don't feel deprived. I don't feel hungry. Like, there's just, there's too many pros for me to be like, you know what, screw it. I'm just not going to do it anymore. That's ridiculous. Um, I've decided that five days a week I am going to stick to plan because it's my routine. It's what I do. It's, it's become normal for me. Like, this is my new norm. And the bonus is that I am losing weight in countless inches because of it. Like, I started out at a 28, 30. Like, I had jeans that were a size 28, and they were so snug that I probably should have been at a size 30. And to be able to be in a 16, 18... That's that's a really good feeling. So, whew, sorry guys. Um, so, it's what I'm sticking to because it, it's what makes me feel good. Um, and then on the weekends, if I choose to have like a little bit of rice with my meal, then I will. Um, I'm not going to feel ashamed if I treat myself to that. You know, I'm I'm not going to go back to cakes and, and candy and, and cookies and, and all that stuff. Like, that's, but sometimes I just want a bowl of cereal. So, I might have that. I might not, you know, but I just... It all boils down to I want to like feel normal and I want to stop being so super strict with myself. Um, and I know that I've gotten to a point to where I could treat myself a little bit and then jump right back on again. Um, if this were me 11 months ago and I did that, there's just no way I wouldn't have continued this at all. 
I have discovered how strong I can be. This has got to be one of the most challenging things for me because I need food, obviously, for survival. I don't need overly processed food for survival, but I just need food for survival. So, um, to give everything up that was my comfort... has been emotionally trying at times. But I know now that I can do it because I've done it. Um, because I am doing it. <clears throat> and I just, I don't want to like lose any of you people, <laughs> you people, you wonderful, wonderful women. And I think there's a couple of guys there that follow me here and there. I don't want to lose any of you and I don't want you to, um, I just, I overthink so much. I just don't want you to think differently of me if I do choose to, to like, have a little, like, treat here and there. And, um, <clears throat> it doesn't, and this is what I've told myself, too. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go back to the way that I was eating and I'm going to, you know, instead of doing two days, I'll do three days and then four days. Um, it's just something that I know that um, I just need to do for the moment. I need to stop being so hard on myself. Um, I have at times to want to get to a certain goal that I set for myself, I have unnecessarily fasted like up to 72 hours because I wanted to get to a goal and that's not healthy. And I recognize that. Um, because I have, I've done fasting. Like I do the, I do intermittent fasting where um, I will have either um, a six hour, an eight hour, um, or a four hour eating window. And during the other remaining like 16, 8, or 20 hours, um, I just consume water or black coffee or tea. Um, and I have done that um, just for like for health benefits. Um, if I felt a little crummy, like I felt maybe... I had eaten something that just like upset me and I felt bloated and I just needed to get rid of like extra water weight. Um, and that's okay, but it's not okay to not eat because you want to get to a goal. Um, and I realize that now.
and I've put the kibosh on that because it's wrong. Um, I take it day by day now. Um, and I'm just focusing on me in this noggin up here. Um, <laughs> because I want to be successful. Because I want to maintain a healthy weight for the rest of my life. And I know that I just need, as a whole, to be better. So right now is, is working on me mentally. Um, and I realize now, you know, after I've, I finish up with this video, um, that I'm going to have to be better at follow-ups with this because I know that some things that I have said may concern some people that, um, that watch and that care about me. And I want you guys to know that I will be okay. Sorry. I've struggled for a couple of days on trying to think about making this video. And I just want you guys to know I will be okay. And that I'm going to be alright. And that I will make it through this. Um, and I will remain positive in knowing that there is light at the end of this tunnel. And I will dig myself out of this. And it will be so much better. But Right now, I have to understand that I'm not okay every day. But I will be. And I'm excited. And I'm nervous and I'm scared to dig deep into this. But I know that uh, it's got to be done. And I will rise up and I will be better than ever. So I just want to thank you guys so much if you have watched <laughs> all the way through. Um, I understand it's a really long video, so if you don't have the time for all of that, I get that too. <laughs> um, and uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope you guys have had a great weekend. And I just want you to know that I appreciate all of you. And thank you so much for continuing to watch and follow me and support me. It means so much to me. It really does. And um, I will see you guys in um, a few days. So have a great rest of your weekend. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.